guys, it's Shannon, and I have a DIY experiment that I wanted to share with you guys. I've never done it before myself, but I've been reading up on it, and I thought I would bring you guys along while I try it out myself. I have this bucket here. It's just a shiny metal galvanized bucket that I just want to kind of give it that rustic farmhouse look. It's a little bit too shiny for me. So I've been looking up how you can age metal and I wanted to show you how I'm going to do it or I'm going to attempt to do it. So this bucket here is just one I had in my stash. It is one I got from the Target dollar bin like a long time ago it had some ribbon Let's see ribbon in these little holes and I took the ribbon out and here's what I'm gonna try to do so the supplies I'm gonna be using are obviously my metal bucket I'm going to be using plain old vinegar and then I have a plastic container that is big enough for me to submerge my bucket in, or my metal bucket into I'm doing this outside because obviously vinegar can have not the very most pleasant smell to it and from what I've read this can take a couple days so I want to make sure that this stays outside. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to remove this sticker off the bottom first. So I got as much off as I could. I'm sure a lot of this will come off on its own in the vinegar too, but it's also gonna be sitting like this. I'm gonna put a plant in it, so you're not gonna see it anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just gonna put my bucket in the plastic container and I'm gonna pour my vinegar right on top. So here's the problem that I'm running into. This bucket is so light that it's just floating in the water. So I try to put something in it to weigh it down, but it keeps just tipping over. So idea number two is to just soak an old kitchen towel in the vinegar. And have another just plastic container from the Dollar Tree going to just wrap the metal container with a dripping wet kitchen towel. I don't need the inside to be pretty because it'll have a plant in it, so I'm just going to wrap the outside. So I'm just going to let this sit till this evening and we will come back and see what happens. Okay, so I brought this inside. It's been about six hours now. Whoa. Well, that worked and pretty fast too. So much better. This is definitely what I was going for as opposed to that shiny, shiny metal. So I'm gonna wash it off and oh, you can tell that's what it looked like before. And now this is what it looks like. So I'm going to rinse it off and I'm going to put my plant in there. Okay, so here's what it looks like now after I washed it and dried it off. And here is the galvanized metal that I bought from, that was already kind of rustic from Hobby Lobby. And it's not exact, but it still has that really cool aged look that I was going for. And then here is my aloe vera plant that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's a live, a live plant. And that's what I made it for, for my aloe vera plant to go in there. So, oh my gosh, I love it. Super, super easy. And since I did that um, rag with the vinegar, that way actually saved a lot of vinegar doing it that way instead of actually filling like a whole bucket full of it. So if you try this, let me know. 
And if this video inspired you, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in my next DIY video. Bye guys.